Today I will be redoing the cage for my hissing cockroaches. Um, reason I say redoing is, well, I actually need to do another room tour, but that's going to be a while coming, so. Anyways, to fill you guys in, I upgraded them from a critter keeper to a tub, and I put them, well, this tub that I put them in, it has these little ridges on the underside of the lid that make it so the lid doesn't sit flush against the top of the tub. So, that means any hissing roaches that are less than three quarters of an inch long can just squeeze right out. Which is why today, I'm making them a new one. And totally not because of the last Hissing cockroach cage video I did got 1.6k views and totally not doing this because I want more views. Anyways, let's get started. So what I will be doing first is I will be cutting the ventilation holes and stuff in the top and then in the sides of the cage using a utility knife. Now for this you're going to want a utility knife that, well one, it's made pretty much entirely out of metal so it doesn't catch on fire. And two, a utility knife that you don't care about never using for utility knife things anymore. And three, you will need a blowtorch. Because you will be heating the blade of the utility knife up with the blowtorch. Like so. And then you will proceed to take the utility knife blade and cut holes with it. Just using the heat to melt a hole. So yeah. Anyways, from here on in, it will be a time lapse of me doing this because this is going to take a while because I have to cut screen out and whatnot, but some of you will get to see that on a live stream, which I'm going to start as soon as I stop this, so, yeah. Anyways, time lapse starts now.
Okay, as you have just seen from the time lapse, I have finished the new cage. I put a ventilation hole here and on the opposite side for cross breeze. And then I also put ventilation on the top. which is very important for getting good air circulation and keeping the air from getting stagnant. Now what I'm going to be using for substrate in here is just Eco Earth. You don't have to use substrate if you don't want to if you're breeding them, but I'm breeding them, but also keeping them as pets, so I want this to be somewhat aesthetic. Now, I will also be using these egg crates for them to hide in. You can get these online at like a reptile supply place or insect supply place probably. But it's probably going to be more expensive there. I got these at just a local farm store. Because they have them for people who keep chickens. And it's probably cheaper to get them that way than it is to get them when they're specifically marketed as insect egg crates. I'll have to double check that though. You'll see text on the screen saying whether or not that's right or not. But... And then, I think just for the heck of it, I'm going to throw in some of these willow oak leaves that I have. Just as something for them to hide in, down on the bottom of the cage. Anyways. Let's get started. Anyway. Forgot I still have my Eco Earth scooper in there. Let's see, I'll just dump the rest of this bag in here because why not? Okay, so we have the Eco Earth in there now. Just gonna level it. By the way, this was a pack of 12 of these extra, 12 of these egg flats for like 5 or $6, I think, at a farm supply store. I'm going to try arranging these in a vertical manner so all the poop falls to the bottom but I have a feeling the roaches will knock it over because that's just how they are when the males get in an argument with each other they gotta fight and shove everything around it will probably end up doing that don't underestimate if you put something in there upright it'll probably be not upright after about a week.
Okay, now I'm going to take some of these willow oak leaves and just sprinkle them down. Uh-oh. I'm just going to use these as kind of a medium for them to hide in. This is probably a bad idea because of when it comes to cleaning, but... Hissing roaches. Okay, so now we're ready to add the hissing roaches. Right now, this cage is kind of a mess. Let's see. How much of these have you guys eaten? You're getting there. I'll go ahead and set up poop. Set the raspberries in the corner. water dish in that corner. There's the water dish for you guys. Okay, so now, and yes I do have a food dish for them. I'm going to be putting it in there next actually. Okay, so now, let's get these guys in their new cage. roaches are all in their new breeding setup. Now what I will do once I've got the money for it is I will be putting a heat mat right here on the end where the egg crates are and that will make them breed faster. If you're not like breeding them to sell them, you probably won't want to put a heat mat on it. Anyways, that is all for this video. And if you want to see more like it, be sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Also, for a while now I've been linking my Discord server in the description. But no one ever reads the description if, unless you tell them to, so... Read the description, check out my Discord server. And if you don't know what Discord is, it's like Skype, but like a thousand times better. On my Discord server, you can talk with me as well as other invertebrate keepers and reptile keepers and yada yada yada. Although right now it's quite dead because there's not many people in it and they don't really talk in there. I think there's like maybe one message a month if that. <laughs> but yeah. Feel free to join that and talk a lot and please don't leave because it's inactive. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Bye.